Hey, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas and uh, wishing everybody a very prosperous and happy new year as well for 2016. Today we're gonna go over a very useful Soho Creator hack. Um, we're gonna show you how you can schedule an email for birth date reminders or for any reminder um, for that matter. Um, in Soho Creator, you need to use um, the scheduler option in the workflow. So you're gonna go to edit this application. I'm gonna use this form called Birth Date Calc Report. It has a few uh, records already in there, but you can use uh, your, your views in Zoho Creator. Just make sure that you have a date field that you can use. And once you click edit this application, you're going to go to the workflow options and you're going to use the scheduler uh, feature that Soho Creator has. And this is a very powerful feature um, uh, that allows you uh, to create time actions without any user input. And um, Zoho Creator supports three types of uh, schedules, which are the form, the report, and the custom. For any kind of reminders, um, it is very uh, useful to use the form schedule. As you can see here, examples are anniversaries, birthdays, payment reminders, appointment scheduling. So this is the one that we're gonna use. And all you need to do is follow the instructions that are already preset and preloaded in, in the workflow. So you type your title and we're gonna do birth date reminder perfect and then i'm going to choose your the view the form that has all the data that i want to use and then if you had a birth date or a date uh, within the form they will be displayed here so i'm going to choose birth date in in my example here and you can add criteria to the record so if you want to run the script for all the records you show all the records but if you want to do the same process only for certain records for example for birth dates that are you know only let's see in the last 10 years so you would add this function to your script and the records that are that have dates in the past 10 years only will be the ones used to send a reminder. Does that make sense? So you can change this back to all records in your form or add criteria. So once you have that, um, you have to tell the system when you're gonna be sending the reminder. So obviously it has to be on the birth date and you wanna do it early in the morning. For example, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time so when people get to the office, first thing they're gonna see on their email box will be a happy birthday email. And then you have to choose the frequency, you know, how often you wanna do this. So obviously, I wanna do this yearly. And if you want this to end, you can have an expiry date or simply leave it blank so it will run every single year. And then I'll show you how to turn the, the, the function off just in case you, you don't want to send the reminders anymore. So you click next. And the last thing that you need to do is just uh, pretty much write your email. You have all the functions that Creator offers that you can build and add um, additional information to your email. But that we'll cover that in, in a separate email, in a separate video. But once you have um, the settings ready to go, all you need to do is build your your form, I mean your your email. So who is it gonna be to, uh, sending to? Obviously, let's do this because we need to pull. Um, the form has to have um, some sort of email address. So you need to fetch the record and then let's call it email. We're gonna fetch the emails from birthday calc. And then in the form, I don't have an email currently, so 
let's do that very quickly. I'm going to save it, okay? And I'm going to access the form. It's birthday calc report. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to add an email fields just so that you can see how it works. So let's do email field. Cool. So once we have that field, you know, obviously you, you need to make sure that every record has the email, the corresponding email that you want to send the reminder to. Okay, so we go back. Once that is set up, we go back to the workflow schedule. The birthday reminder function is going to be here. You click next. And then before you send the email, we need to fetch the emails that we're going to be using. So emails from birthday calc, right? And then we're going to say, uh, I want to use the record whose ID equals the one that it's been pulled from the scheduler form. So you go to input fields and select the ID. So the criteria is fetch the record with the ID on birthday calc that matches the ID on the scheduler form that I'm using. Make sense? Okay, I hope so too. So, and, and that has to be before your email, before you send the email. And then you're good to go because now you can construct your email and you're going to send the email to, and then you're going to go to your collections. So you'll have e birthday call collections here, and you're going to select the email from the collection to send it to. So this, this is going to iterate the emails in the database to send one email per record in the form, in the view. And then you can just type happy birthday. Then we miss you, we love you. I hope you have many more wonderful years. Enjoy. Voila, then your name. And this uh, section, as you can see, it's fully editable, so you can add links pictures, HTML, so you can paste YouTube videos, whatever the case may be. And then that's it. You click Done, and you click Save, and you're good to go. Now, if you, if you want to turn it off by, you know, whatever the reason may be, just come back to the form, uh, the workflow schedules, and click this little green button, and that would disable the, the function to the scheduler to run. And if you want to, you know, turn it on again just click on it and again so that's it uh, I hope it's a, it's a helpful hack um, please let, let us know if you have any any comments uh, or questions we would love to help you out uh, build amazing online databases with our uh, Zoho creator hacks in creator scripts have a great day